I'm Thomas, a technical account manager based out of Jacksonville, Florida. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue when Amazon WorkDocs drive for Windows freezes or crashes after login and then shows only the message authenticating user. Let's get started. I'll be going through the process of making sure that the Windows message queuing service is installed and working correctly, which is key for troubleshooting and resolving this issue. I'll also be using a Windows 10 instance to do this today. As a prerequisite for this solution, you must have administrator access to the Windows instance that you're using as well. As you can see, I'm logged into a Windows instance. The WorkDocs application is installed, but we aren't currently running the application. If I start the application, you'll notice in the system tray that there's a notification that states authenticating user. Then you'll see an error that says that the WorkDocs drive has stopped working. Please note, however, it's also possible that the error never appears and that you might be waiting in the state of authenticating user indefinitely. So why is this happening? This happens when the Windows message queuing service is either broken, not started, or not installed completely. The Windows message queuing service is required by the WorkDocs drive so that it can write to the system journal file. The system journal file is a temporary storage location where messages are queued so that they can be sent and received reliably as long as conditions permit. Let's go ahead and verify that the Windows message queuing service is installed and running. We can do this by using the service console window. As we can see, the Windows message queuing service isn't running, but it's set to automatic, so we expect that it should be running. When we try to start it, though, we receive an error. If you don't see the Windows message queuing service listed in your services, then we must install that feature. We'll show you how to do that later in the video. The Windows message queuing service relies on these three other services that must be running in your Windows environment so that it can successfully start. Message queuing access control, remote procedure call, Windows event log. When we check the status on the other services to see whether one of the dependencies are not started, we can try to start that specific service and attempt to start the Windows message queuing service afterwards. Another possible resolution if the Windows message queuing service isn't started is that you're missing the optional feature of the MSMQ Active Directory integration. To use this feature, we must be using an administrator PowerShell window. Let's open that up and paste in the command to install that feature. One last resolution to try if the Windows message queuing service isn't starting is to manually start the MQAC service. For this, let's jump back into the administrator PowerShell window and start that service. Now that the service is running and installed with all features, we can start the WorkDocs drive application and then authenticate. If you are running Windows Server and your WorkDocs drive still won't start after these actions, then we must uninstall the Windows message queuing service. Let's open an administrator Windows PowerShell window, then run this command. After that module is imported into the current instance, we must uninstall MSMQ, which is the Windows message queuing service. We do this by running the following command. It's important to note that this command restarts the workstation or server that you're running it from. Now that the workstation is rebooted, let's go through the MSMQ install. But first, let's revisit a topic that we discussed earlier. What happens if I open the services window and I don't see the message queuing listed? This simply means that we must install that feature. So, at this point, we can fix both potential problems the same way. 
let's open an administrator PowerShell window like before and then run the following command. Next, install the MSMQ feature by using the following command. Then run this command. Finally, open your WorkDocs drive. Note that it authenticates and is connected. And now you know how to fix the issue when WorkDocs drive for Windows freezes or crashes after login and then shows only the message authenticating user. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.